Boom. And we got her. <laughs> nice. I accidentally spooked that one. And I just literally just started recording and I seen that. And we got it. So that's a melanistic mouflon sheep if you couldn't tell. And I also just the other day ago I was looking around here and I had a albino. Oh, there he is right there. Perfect. A level 3 albino basidi abex. That's going to be really, really cool in the lodge. And I don't think there's anything else here. Really fancy. So let's go grab our mouflon really quick and then we're going to work our way down there and not go for a stupid shot because I would like to get the full score out of this guy. So two rares within a couple of minutes here. That is perfect, man. I tell you what, this lake right here is amazing. I just can't get enough of it. I'm always here. I normally fill it up full of freaking hunting pressure and then I'll go hunt other places and then once I'm done clearing the hunting pressure, I go straight back to this place. There's always some kind of trophy here. It's fantastic. S set yourself up a tent on this cliff. That way you can spawn in and then have an overlook of the whole lake. You can literally just see everything out here. And there's an albino right there. Really, really cool. You know, there's just so many ibex here. And what you can do is you can just run around and just kill all the fours that are here because there's normally a bunch like there's tons of fours here which i'm probably going to do that myself and just kill a bunch of them that way you could potentially get a respawn and we got it down right there nice melanistic really cool unfortunately it is just a female that would have been really cool to have actual male or a ram or whatever that's really cool though we're definitely going to throw that on the lodge somewhere and just try and get ourselves a few more trophies here today before I make my trophy lodge tour video because that's going to be one of the scheduled videos. And man, I'm excited to make that because there's so many trophies in there that I can't wait to share with you guys. But I'm going to head down this way and see if we can get ourselves this albino. Oh, there he is right there. Okay. He's not that far. All right. There's our albino right there. Let's scooch over here to the left a little bit. That way that bush is out the way. I don't think that will actually deflect our bullet or anything. But, never know. And I really want to try and get him before those other ones decide to spook him. So let's wait till he puts his head up and... That should do the trick. What? I don't know how that... That just looks like a perfect place to put the shot, man. I don't understand how that wasn't a good shot. Maybe it was a good shot, we just didn't get enough penetration. The reason that I took that shot and didn't get closer is because those guys were spooking and I didn't want them to spook the albino and he's just a level three if he we're gonna lose score definitely uh from the quick kill but who cares i i'm gonna stop taking shots on big animals that are dumb shots if they're smaller like that i'm not really gonna worry about making a super good shot but definitely from now on if i see a monster animal like a level five or a potential diamond anything i'm really gonna take my time with it all right here's our albino that we somehow made a bad shot on let's see ah oh, oh you're right you're right you're right. Oh, well. I don't really care. Not that big a deal. We just... I just... I don't know. I'm just bad. <laughs> I'm not that bad. I just... I need to... I need to practice these things. I'm just so not used to this. This is such a weird... I'm, I'm just terrible. Let's be honest. Anyways, leave a like for that shot. <laughs> <clears throat> but anyways, who cares? It's just a level three. This is what we're worried about. Let's go ahead and tax optimize this guy. We're going to go throw him in the lodge really quick. Just because... Look at his little beard. So now we have a demon goat, which is the melanistic one. And we have an albino basidi abex. So let's head over to the lodge real quick. All right, let's head into the lodge. Man, it's coming along great. I love it. I'm very happy with how this place is turning out. So I'm going to look around for a spot to put this guy really quick. That looks pretty cool. Just an albino. He's not a monster or anything, but the fur type is really, really cool. And I guess we're going to find a spot to put our little mouflon sheep. Actually, I actually think I got a pretty good spot for her. Let's put her right here. Yeah, that'll work. That's pretty neat. Just like that. If you didn't know, you can actually put the mouflon on these super small plaques here, like the ones that the birds go on. So, just a little quick tip, but that looks really cool. Bunch of ibex going in the lodge. I really need to kind of hang back here because I'm really filling up all my plaques with nothing but freaking ibex. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up this lodge pretty much completely, and then I'm going to create, create another one because I don't really feel like having five different lodges that aren't even completely full yet. My task and my mission is to complete this one, and then I'll create another one. But anyways, I think I'm going to head back out there into the wild and see if we can find anything else. All right, guys. Well, I found myself something. I'm out here just hunting for wolves, and, well, where is he at? Right there? Nope, nope. He's right there. I can't spot him right now, but it is a five-medium mouflon sheep. We're going to try and get over here to the shore as close as we possibly can 
and take a shot with the 30.6. I am more than happy to take a shot from that distance with the 30.6 because if I go that way, I would have to climb up this hill and I really wouldn't get a good shot and I would probably end up just spooking him in the end. So we'll see what kind of distance we're looking like and what kind of angle. We'll decide if we want to take a shot from here or not. I know I said I'm probably not going to take any stupid shots, but it's a mouflon. I normally can drop the mouflon from pretty much any distance with the 30.6. The Ibex tend to be a little bit stronger, and you got to be a little bit more careful with them. But there he is right there. He's 255. Okay, we're going to try and get at least this way a little bit more. That way we're kind of more broadside, and then we will definitely go ahead and take a shot. So he's 270 meters out. Let's go ahead and stop right there, buddy. And he smoked. We got him. He's down. Oh. I know a lot of you guys were probably like, no, Risky, don't do it. You done messed up a bunch of diamonds the other day ago. Don't do it, but we're good. I had hope. I had I had confidence in that. It's just a mouflon. They're, they're a lot weaker than the Ibex, it seems. So we're good, boys. Let's go grab this thing. So my biggest mouflon so far is a 960. So let's see if this guy over here is going to score higher than him. Oh, here he is right here. Perfect. He's down. I think we dropped him in his tracks. Let's go ahead and get a look at these horns. And that looks pretty good. Let's see if I can get a picture of that really quick. Okay. Let's go ahead and claim him. And he's a golden 932. No. Dang it. Oh, well, we'll, ta we'll taxidermize him anyways. Damn it, dude. I had my hopes up for that one. <sighs> I was so happy. Now we got trolled again. And to anyone wondering, I always get this freaking comment. If you would have had consecutive harvest, you would have been a diamond. No, consecutive harvest no longer affects the score. It only affects the money and XP. If I would have had 100% consecutive harvest here, I would have got a little bit more XP and money. It does not affect your score. Damn it, dude. I had I had freaking hopes that he was a diamond, dude. Oh, well. He will still look cool in our lodge, so I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. I just need to get something done for you guys. Just maybe This one might be a little bit shorter than... The other videos, what do we get today? We got an albino ibex, and uh, a melanistic Iberian mouflon sheep, and we just got ourselves a level 5 mouflon sheep. He wasn't a diamond, but he's still really cool. So let's go ahead and head into our lodge and find a place for this guy on the wall. Alright, I think we're just going to put this guy right here over here at our bar. Uh, you know what, we'll move him over one right there. That is cool. That way when you're sitting here at the bar, you got this pretty nice looking Iberian mouflon looking at you. Wasn't a diamond, but... He's still a trophy to me. Level 5. And he's a 932. He's getting put on the wall. I'm still happy with it. I'm, I'm bummed that he wasn't a diamond, but hey, that's just that's just the name of the game, man. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a bunch. And I'll see you all in the next one. Later.